Life and will. You are the first man in years to have entered the temple and come out alive, and the first white man to have ever done so. It's not the kind of place I'd like to enter again, but it helped. 
Yes. And now you will be on your way. Are you throwing me out? No. I am saying that I know you will be on your way now. I also know you will be back. Someday. Don't count on that. I've had more than enough of these islands. For now. Goodbye, Arco. Until the next time, Raven Man. Your darkness, Raven Man. It is not what it was when I first saw you. Really? The darkness of the Lower Temple. Did you leave some of your own darkness with it? Or have you carried some out with you? Whatever you want to believe.
I knew the priest would heal you. The Karak have helped us in the past. Their methods may not be Christian, but it always works wonders when there are no other options. What sickness was Brady laid up with? Oh, it began with the kind of illness one catches from um, dubious company. <laughs> Female company. But that wasn't all. The abbot couldn't have known at the time, but it weakened him so much that a strange blood fever came over him next. I hope that means he pissed hot blood until his prick fell off. <clears throat> Did you find him when you were exploring the island? Or meet up with the brothers? I found him. What's left of him is still there. Uh, oh. It was the cannibal's doing, sister. Ah. <sighs> then it was the Lord's doing that he had managed to confess his sins just in time. Our abbot heard his confession just weeks ago. Would you believe the man cursed and swore, even during the sacrament? The, the words I heard. Heard, huh? Guess even a nun can't help eavesdropping. I was cleaning his dirty bandages behind the curtain. I could hardly help overhearing his words. If that is eavesdropping, then may the Lord forgive me. Excuse me, Captain, but I think you're hardly the kind of person to question someone's morals. Sister, I don't care if you were eavesdropping on patients or betting the abbot. I only want to know what the bastard said. I don't know. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. He even swore he would take revenge on a man named Kensington. I've heard this was the man who brought Brady to our monastery years ago, before my time. Go on. He said he would soon be cured, and then he would set off for uh, Ariba, or was it Arroyo? Wherever this Mr. Kensington was living, or so Brady thought. And then he said he would... he... Yes? I couldn't repeat what he said. It was so vile. But he was babbling, anyway. It was clearly a fever delusion. The abbot himself said there was no place by that name. Arroyo? No. Arriba? Aria? Was it Aria? Yes, that was it. Do you know it? I do. It's no fever dream. We're setting sail for St. John's. St. John's? Ah, uh, I don't understand. Aria was a slave's name for a place on that island. An old colony. Guess growing up constantly hearing the maroon tongue has its uses after all. What about me? Some of my order are in Bridgetown. Can you take me to them? It's on the way. I'll drop you off. Come on.
see you found something to wear. Only men's clothes. But, <laughs> but I, I think I'll do. <laughs> so, how long have you been a nun? Why do you ask? We need to talk. Now that you've recovered, I assume you'll continue to pursue your objective, whatever that may be. Now that I'm able to stand on my own again, yes, thanks to you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. It is my duty to help and serve where I can. You know, I was wondering, that raven of yours, first on the island, then the way the crack priest reacted to it, was very strange. It was almost that as That raven has been with me a long time. It's just a bird, nothing more. I do not want to hear any of your religious nonsense. You understand? No, I was... I, I only meant that it seemed odd. Ne never mind. I was only going to say that... Now that you're well, I should be going. I, I just don't want to be in the way. I think it would be best if you took me somewhere where I can seek help from my order. I don't want to ask too much of you, but surely you can do that much for me. Mm, I'd be an ingrate if I didn't give my savior safe passage now, wouldn't I? However, I would like a proper goodbye. I'm sure you can do that much. A storm is approaching. Uh, oh, storm captain. It looks like a bad one. Mm, make sure the men are up and ready. And get to your stations. Aye, sir. Chris, what's happening? Mm, don't worry. Our cargo is safe. But, Stay here. But Chris, uh, Chris, wait. Oh, oh, oh. So, this is it. We go our separate ways. I suppose a blackbird is much more suitable company for the likes of you. I suppose I should be grateful then that a man like you didn't throw me overboard after the Order refused to pay your ransom. I guess the Abbot just took you for the untrustworthy pirate that you are. I helped you pass the time. Thank you for your concern.
thanks for your help. How do you do? Fine. How do you do? Why did they attack? Ha! You saw. Why, look what we have here. Mr. Christopher Raven. What brings a pirate such as yourself across my threshold? There's talk in Bridgetown that you're looking to hire a pirate captain. What's the job? Yes, indeed we are. But I must first ask, why are you interested in working in His Majesty's service, Mr. Raven? Gold spends the same no matter who I get it from. So, what do you need from me, General Blackthorn? Quite. Let's see. Your first undertaking concerns a shipment of cannonballs to be delivered to a pirate by the name of Francis Ash. He lives in the pirate settlement on Redonda. Go to the shipwright here in Bridgetown. He will provide the cargo. Sounds easy enough. What's the pay? Of course. You'll be paid promptly upon your return. Let's say 1,000 reales. All right, General. I'll go and get the job done. What's the price? Well, the ship is worth 10,000. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Wait! Wait, fine. I'll sell for 8,000, not one coin less. If the ship's in good condition, it's a deal.
Welcome, sir. How may I help you? I've come to pick up special cargo from you. General Blackthorn sent me. I'll send some people to load the cargo onto your ship, sir. What else can I do for you? Guess you need your...